people get mad, people tend to die. When people get mad, people tend to die. We got a mother who is killed out here in the Bronx. They say a young Bronx mother has been shot by somebody that she know. Let's go on and get into the story. Let's, let's, let's see what's happening. Apparently know each other, and when an argument okay. broke out... Let me back it up. My bad. Now to that gun insanity story, and once again, it has turned deadly. It started with a group of young people who apparently know each other, and when an argument broke out, so too did a gun. Now a 24-year-old mother of two from the Bronx is dead, and her heartbroken family is in mourning. They're also talking to Iowa's news reporter, Safan Kim, live at the scene at the woman's house. Stefan. Well, Bill, that young mother of two was shot in the street in her face right in front of her home. The victim's mother shot in her face. still doesn't know what happened or how it happened, and she's asking the woman who shot her daughter to turn herself in. She got shot by a female, not a male. Oh, okay, go ahead. My daughter, she was a free spirit. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Angel. Mommy, my baby, I'm good. <laughs> The mother of 24-year-old LaShawn Andrews and her sister wailing in the background, the loss of their loved one leaving them crushed and in search of answers. She's the type of person that would give you the shirt off her back. She was very polite. She was a great mom. She loved her children and other, and other people's children. A great sibling, a great daughter, a beautiful daughter. Andrews' mother says she lived with her boyfriend and their two young sons, just four and three years old. Cops say last night after 11.30, there was some sort of argument with a group of people she knew. That argument escalated, and according to cops, a woman in that group shot her in the face. Andrew's mother says her daughter had just placed her sons back into daycare so she could go back to work. She was looking forward to starting a security job next month. Her mother asking for her killer to come forward. It wasn't that scared when you shot my daughter in the face. Rebuild yourself. Turn yourself in. Now, what's still unclear at this hour is what sparked that dispute. Yes, because we do need to know what sparked that dispute right there. Hold on, shawty. Oh, Jesus, done got into an argument and then got shot in the face out here in these streets. Um, <coughs> well, well, we got to kind of look at it like this right here. We have an issue with, um, what is it called? What is it called? Um, how to defuse something. Uh, damn it, I can't think. It's a two-word like a combination type thing. I cannot think of the word, but diffusing some type of situation. Um, yeah. Damn it. I just had it, but I forgot it again. Don't need much word about it. conflict resolute. Jesus. I got to write this stuff down on the whiteboard or something like that right there. We have a big problem with conflict resolution. I keep trying to tell y'all and I have told y'all multiple times when people is arguing, when people is arguing, your thought process should be they have some type of weapon. Especially if they arguing too, too, too hard. If they really, really going in on you, they got, to, damn it, they got some on them. They got some on them and or they got some type of backup. Now, she was outside of her place of dwelling, arguing with another bra and got shot in the face. So in my mind, I think this could be over some meat. I think it could be over some meat. Her and her man, they stay together or something, you know. And hell, she probably tried to holler at her man or something. And she went to stay out my man face or something. You know, just to check her baby. Like like, like babies do out here in these doggone streets. And shit just went left. Angel, mommy, my baby is gone. My baby is gone. And we just get lost. We just leave Earth. And it all comes down to the decisions that we make out here in these streets. I know, Willie, you're blaming the victim. I'm going to always blame the victim. Somebody need to blame the victim so we can teach. We need to be able to teach people that our decisions that's being made can cause us to leave Earth. I don't know why we're not teaching this right here, but come on now. Who are the teachers? The mother of 24-year-old LaShawn Andrews and her sister wailing in the background. The loss of their loved one, leaving them crushed and in search of answers. She's the type of person that would give you the shirt off her back. She was very polite. She was a great mom. And I also keep trying to tell y'all, it's always the cute ones 
who is being taken off earth. I don't know what's going on, and I don't know why we have to be with all uh, le left with all these handsome babies out here in these dogs on the street. The pretty ones get taken off earth. These these real handsome, strong face, strong jaw lines and shit like that right now, they is left out here for us. To lift her children and other people's children, a great sibling, a great daughter beautiful daughter andrew's mother says she lived with her boyfriend and their two young sons just four and three years old cops say last night after 11 30 there was oh after 11 30 at night some sort of argument with a group of people she knew that argued a group a group that she knew you know our um, um peers but we'd be calling them friends and stuff like that go ahead and escalated and according to cops a woman in that group shot her in the face andrew's mother says her daughter had just placed her sons back in the she must have felt threatened that baby must have felt threatened damn it this should be a learning lesson this should be a learning lesson i know i know but she didn't have to shoot her she didn't have to do the things that you think that she didn't have to do but at the time she did exactly what she thought she <clears throat> that she had to do follow her own understanding and that's why she decided to do exactly what she wanted to do and now y'all want her to turn herself in well that's not what she want to do that's not what she want to do so us down in law enforcement we got to come together then we need tips from the community if they was in a group watch this watch this watch this the news said nothing about a description and or a name there was her so-called friends well people that she knew ain't nobody telling Ain't nobody telling. We see everything, but we ain't see nothing. You know how it go. Listen, man, I appreciate y'all for rocking, man. Tell me what you think. Hell, but but if they snitch, they will be called snitches, and you probably couldn't live in the community no more. You know, because that's how we live a lot of times. I appreciate y'all for rocking, man. I'm up out of here. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Y'all tell somebody about a player. I'm gone.